Yards. I work for the University of Maryland Extension as a county agriculture agent. I am also a poultry and grain farmer and with me today. Uh, I'm Donna Smith. I am also a poultry and grain producer in Queen Anne's County and I work at the Queen Anne's County Soil Conservation Office and we're getting ready to talk to you about what you're going to see at Ag Awareness Day 2019. So Ag Awareness Day is a interactive learning day. So you'll be coming here to the 4-H Park where we are today. Our County 4-H Park is really where kind of ag happens. Yes. So, year round. That's right, year round. So there's meetings here year round, our county fair, of course my favorite uh, time of the year. But we're going to be coming here uh, April 9th and 10th. And on the 9th will be Sellersville and Centerville Middle School. And then on the 10th will be Stevensville and Mattapique. So you'll be coming here to spend the whole day here away from school doing lots of fun things. Some of the fun things that we're going to encounter at the different stations is ag technology, farm animals, the green stuff, aquaculture, and my future. So we want you to start thinking as students about some of the things on the careers that are available to you. As you move into high school and into your career, farming is really just not about being a farmer. Is no, it it's, it's so much more than that. It, it's not just climbing on a tractor and working up ground and planting seeds. Like, for example, a mechanic. Every piece of equipment has to be worked on and the mechanics of um, tractors and combines are so different now. They're so advanced with the technology and the GPS. And for example, like if you're into drones, you can use a drone. We're going to have a drone demonstration that day to look at pest management, to look at crop growth, um, noxious weeds, and you know, you could be an entomologist and be into bugs. Mm -hmm. You know, we need people to look at bugs because we have samples come into Jenny's they office, the extension office all the time, mm -hmm. uh, wondering what kind of bug is this and is this gonna hurt my crops? Right, right. so you could be a crop consultant, you could be agronomist, you could be a horticulturist, you could go and get your degree in mechanical engineering. I mean, the list just goes on and on. So be thinking about, those things. So when we go to the ag technology, there'll be three stations. Like you said, one will be a drone. You'll also learn about corn, wheat, and soybeans. That's what's grown here in Queen Anne's County. We are the top producer of corn and soybeans in the whole state. So you'll actually get to see how they're grown and talk about the markets and, and a lot of different things. You also get to get on a tractor. We'll have a tractor here that has a guidance system in it. You'll see a computer in a tractor. So think about all those things you can do as a career. So what's, what will be the next station we go to? Oh, you know, the, the technology one, you know, anybody that has an iPad, they get used all the time That's right. for mapping and figuring out how much fertilizer mm -hmm. and how many um, seeds that you mm -hmm. need to plant. Well, so we use our iPads and our cell phones. Don and I both have poultry houses. We can get on our iPads and our cell phones and we can see exactly what's going on in the chicken house all the time. So there's careers. Yes. And animals, of course, just like dogs and cats, large animals and small animals and chickens, they need vets. Mm -hmm. We need people to figure out, you know, if they're sick, what kind That's of medicine right. that they need. And if we have some respiratory issues going on in the poultry house, we have specific people that are vets that can help mm -hmm. us um, right. take care and keep healthy animals on the farm. Right. So you can, you know, go to, you could go to college and um, major in veterinary science and you could come out and you could you know you can work in a dairy industry you can work in the poultry industry it's a swine industry I mean yep. the list really just just goes on and on but when we get to the farm animals there'll be a station there you'll learn about what bribe byproducts what we do with animals nothing gets wasted you might be um, eager to learn what happens with some of the <laughs> cosmetics are made, you know, from some farm animals. And You'll be interested to hear what some of the byproducts from large animals such as beef that they get to use for something that you use in your everyday life. Yeah. It's very interesting. It is. So we'll have, uh, you'll see baby chicks. Uh, You'll see, we'll have a horse, probably a couple horses, dairy yep. cows, uh, beef cows. Goats are always the big hit. Yes, The, the kids absolutely. always uh, love goats. We have sheep. Uh, I think that's all of them. And you can touch them. You can yes. pet them. And, you know, they, they're, they're a lot of them are 4-H animals for projects. Mm -hmm. So you can get right in there and touch them and that, that won't be an issue. Right. And, and we'll, we would love for you to ask lots of questions about animals. We would. So we'll have the 4-H uh, members will be involved and also the FFA from the Queen's County High School will be here to help to answer questions also. 
So from there, where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to the green stuff. This green stuff is plants <laughs> and horticulture and fruits. And we have um, a local produce farmer that comes in, brings a transplanter in mm -hmm. to show you how they plant their plants. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna get to plant a uh, vegetable and take it home with you so you can grow it and hopefully eat what you grow out of that plant That's that right. day. And, it's, and they will talk about yeah. Um, horticulture and um, the landscaping part of it mm -hmm. so you could be a landscaper you could have greenhouses you could grow trees florists you can grow flowers there's just the the things that you can get into in agriculture are pretty much endless and it whatever is. your niche is right. you could find a place in agriculture right. with a career you could do ag tourism ag tourism is huge we have a lady that will probably be here helping to teach and she helps to manage a, a local ag tourism so a lot of things really to think about that you can do right here in our county. A plant pathologist. Yes. Look that up. See what that is. Yes. You see people with trees in their yards and their, mm -hmm. their trees may be dying from something. Right. You can go out and take a sample from that and figure out what's going on and maybe help them save their trees. True. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the farm. It can be in your backyard and you could be that person to help those backyard uh, farmers with tomato plants, yeah, you know, or just right. a couple of cabbage plants in their backyards. And True. it doesn't have to be on a large scale farm agricultural basis. So from there, we're going to move to aquaculture. This has been one of the things I think that um, has been really exciting for students. They don't understand that we talk about oysters. They don't understand that's actually a live creature. They're like, yes. oh no, that can't be. <laughs> Um, so you'll get to get to learn a lot about the aquaculture uh, industry and and what's going on here So it's not just about the watermen and, and the boats But we are having people on the edges of their farms or properties are actually they're growing oysters really right yeah. off of their peers Yes filtration so. you could be um, a, a scientist that looks at water mm -hmm. and water quality Oh, yeah, you know cleaning up the bay is a big focus these it days is. and we like to learn about how to uh, as farmers help clean up the bay right. and maintain the the base quality right. and we're doing mm -hmm. our part by putting in certain kind of grasses and with you being a scientist mm -hmm. you can help us you know figure yeah. out what grasses are best to help mm -hmm. clean up the bay so you could be an ecologist look that one up you could be a hydrologist you could be a marine biologist you could be a fish or hatchery uh, manager and the list really just goes on and on fish farmer that's another you know so a lot of different things from there so from there we move to where? My our, future. Okay, and so. that's what we've been touching on, my future. There mm -hmm. are a number of careers that you could go into. And you know, climbing on a tractor is very satisfying. Uh, Jenny and I both oh, we were born it. and raised <laughs> on the farm. We love being on the tractor. We love planting our crops. We love doing our part to, you know, feed, feed you. Yeah, that's right, to feed you. Know, you. We're feeding you. That's right. Even though you see corn and wheat and soybeans here in Queen Anne's County and a few vegetables here and there, mm -hmm. those go into cookies and cake mixes and right. bread and right. uh, chips. And we're going to have a display here in the greens portion. They so. will show you how much tortilla chips are grown out of a bushel of corn. corn. It's very interesting. It very and they even make crayons. Yes, crayons from yep. soybeans. Yep. Yes, a lot of different things. So in my future will be, uh, like we said, all the stations will be interactive, but uh, in my future, you're really gonna talk about and meet some of the students at Queens County High School that are in the ag program and talk about maybe what they're looking at in the future. We have something really interesting that you all can think about too. When you come down here, we're gonna ask you at the end of the Ag Awareness Day or talk to you about an essay. Jenny, right. what, what, tell us a little bit about that essay. So the essay, we are gonna ask you to write an essay about how agriculture affects your life every day. And if you win, you get a $50 check from the Queens County Farm Bureau and the best thing is you'll get what Donna you get either a free ice cream cone or snow cone every day during the fair I wish I could enter <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be happy I run the ice cream booth so I'll be happy to give you your free ice cream yeah. every day if you right. win that essay contest All right <laughs> your teacher will be giving you an evaluation there will be a pre-test before you come out and then a post-test when you get done and our job is to evaluate what you've learned during the day so please make sure that you fill that out for us you need to dress with either boots if they're calling for rain please wear boots don't wear flip-flops it can be chilly it can be wet and the day will go on whether it's raining or not right. so if well. you um, don't wear a t-shirt if it's going to be like 40 degrees or 50 mm -hmm. degrees wear a jacket please dress appropriately it's very important right. we dress appropriately for our work we dress appropriately when we're on That's the right. farm so mm -hmm. please dress appropriately you're on a field trip and you're going to be outside right and one more thing follow us on social media we'll be doing some social media um, that day but just look for ag awareness day i hope you enjoy the field trip yes 
and we look forward to seeing you hope you and if you have any questions or you want to talk to us about an ag career please look for us a lot of times i'm walking around with the flag trying to keep everybody squared mm -hmm. away and ask any of the people about your potential career and anticipating that going into high school when you choose your pathway mm -hmm.